Hi everyone, uh, today I wanted to talk to you about what is this? This is a bare root rose. You might see them in Walmart or Home Depot or Lowe's and they always have these gorgeous pictures of these roses on them, but it's hard to believe that a gorgeous rose bush could come from something um, frankly oftentimes looks pretty ugly. So uh, I wanted to talk to you today about what bare root roses are and why I think you should definitely buy them. The bare root roses that you would find often in stores are going to be generally two year old grafted rose bushes that have been trimmed down. Um, they come, you know, sometimes they might be eight inches tall um, down to the bud union, but they can be shorter, sometimes longer, it just depends. Um, but really the reason why they cut them short is not only that they're easier to ship and display but also um, much like you would prune a regular rose bush at home by pruning it down it causes it to have a lot more energy to boost and bloom out once you plant it into the ground so reason number one why i think you should be buying bare root roses is the price particularly when you're buying from say walmart or Home Depot or Lowe's, 10 bucks. You can't beat 10 bucks. Um, you know, if you were looking online, say at the uh, bigger rose distributors, um, it can be seemingly pretty pricey, say 50 bucks, um, 30 bucks, anywhere between 30 and $50 really. But um, I have found really good success over the years with just keeping my eye out on what varieties uh, Tractor Supply, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot have. And pretty much all of my rose bushes have come from uh, one of those places. I have gotten a couple of specialty ones from my local nursery, um, but those run me like $30, but I think they're worth it. This one today I actually got from Walmart and it is the variety Moonlight in Paris. It's a Floribunda rose. And I've actually been looking at this rose, potentially wanting to purchase it for probably about two years, but just couldn't bring myself to pay $50, uh, which is what it was gonna be if I was gonna order it from Heirloom Roses. And so to my delight, I saw it today for $10. I actually bought two. And um, yeah, so you never know what varieties you're gonna find and it's kind of fun to search through what, uh, what they have at the store. And yeah, it's different every year, so it's exciting. It can be sort of hard to believe that uh, something cut down this far will end up giving you blooms the first year, but pretty much every year with every single bare root rose that I've purchased, I get blooms by June. Um, and it's February now and I'm just starting to see them in stores. And depending on how warm your climate is, I would say the earlier you grab them, the better, particularly from stores that say have a nursery area that's not being taken care of very well. Um, because as you see, this one has already leafed out, um, which is okay since I bought it and I'm ready to plant it. But if I was to wait like another week to buy this, it might be toast because uh, we're expecting some warm weather and I've just seen a lot that they get um, either dried out and they die or a cold snap will come through and it'll just wipe out all of these new buds and may wipe out um, even farther past the buds all the way down and the cane might die. So. Anyways, I would recommend not waiting to buy them. Um, and if you buy one that is already leafed out and you really feel confident that you're gonna have some really big cold snaps, you might just wait to plant it and just kind of baby it and take it in your garage if it's gonna be cold. So some recommendations on what to look for when you're picking one out. You want the branches to be green. Doesn't have to be bright green, but you want to see evidence of life. Um, I would say the chunkier the cane, the better. Um, to me, that just shows that it's going to be more vigorous. And um, yeah, you'll see ones that are like really wimpy, like it might be just like just that. <laughs> um, and I would not recommend buying those. But um, yeah, so look for thicker canes. Um, you wanna see those like buds that are visible 
you're not always going to see it leafed out like this, but um, they'll just be little red or green nubs and you want to see evidence of that because um, that shows that it's ready to put on new growth. Um, and bonus, if you see whole new canes developing from the um, graft union, um, you want it above the graft union, so on this more bulb part. Um, but I thought I'd go ahead and show you what it looks like when you take it out of its packaging. So it's going to come with a wire, take that off, and it's going to be in this bag. So now that I've taken the bag off, you'll see it's wrapped in kind of a paper. And if we take that off, there's the packaging material. Woo! And you'll want to just let that, you can shake that off. So now that we've got the packaging off, you'll see that inside that bag was the whole root system. Um, and this is looking in good shape. It doesn't seem too crusty. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with this. It's got lots of little roots. Um, and I'm wanting to come out with a step-by-step -step guide on planting bare root roses, but just kind of a preview of that, we're gonna soak um, all of these roots and that'll wash off the rest of the packaging material that we don't um, necessarily want to plant the bare root rose in. So anyways, look forward to putting that video out and yeah, definitely encourage you to take a closer look at those funny looking bare root roses at your local store. Um, I have just loved the last four years of um, buying them. Really, I think my gardening journey really took off when I bought a whole bunch of bare root roses from Tractor Supply and just could not believe that I was able to have these gorgeous, gorgeous blooms in my yard. And yeah, the rest is history. So yeah, go out there, check your stores. Uh, definitely get yourself a bare root rose or five or 10 because um, they're not that expensive. So anyways, have a great day. Happy gardening.